everyone. We have head coach Jason Lammers, Gleb's for Highcross. Sorry, Gleb's for messing that one up. And Liam Brockoff, coach, you want to open up the statement? Yeah, we just call him pro. It's way easier. Yeah. Uh, just want to thank everybody for coming. Thought it was a great crowd tonight and a lot of excitement in the building. So uh, that was awesome to see. RIT's a, a very good team. And I thought they showed that throughout the night and, and uh, really impressed with our guys, how we stuck with it. It's, uh, it's been awesome to get a lot of texts coming into this week. Everybody knows the RIT matchup. And um, a lot of the former Purple Eagles that, that played here have been sending great texts. And so it's been awesome to see. I thought tonight uh, the culture and, and how these guys have really committed to the competence, the commitment, and the consistency of the behaviors we want played out to be able to shake off uh, from 3-1 to 3-3 to the game-winning goal at 4-3. So that was awesome to see offensively. Uh, really liked what we created, thought we had a lot of good chances and was real impressed defensively. Thought we did a real good job for a large part of the game, obviously a five, seven minute part there in the third. I uh, want to keep, keep getting better at. And then it was good special teams wise to, uh, to you know, get a power play goal and, and uh, to keep them off the board for their power play. Yeah, well, the, the mood is that's a it's a really good question actually because the mood gets all everybody gets fired up, but then we got to like calm everybody down. Hey, wait, we still got 30 seconds, right? Because that's that's a challenging. They're gonna pull their goalie here. It comes. So I thought the guys did a nice job of celebrating, but then getting back into the moment. What happened afterwards was um, what were the exact things said between the players afterwards? If you don't mind getting in. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> No, 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 don't answer that one. Don't answer that. Talk about the energy in the locker room. Uh, yeah, everyone knew it's an important game, and then obviously the fourth goal with the score and get those important points. So it's fired up, boys, in the locker room. Liam, walk us through your block shot that kind of you know kept the game uh, tied. <laughs> uh, Chad's been you know holding us in with a, a lot of big saves, so it starts in practice. We have guys eating pucks in practice all the time. So, I mean, that was just kind of, you know, routine. We're, we're ready to do that whenever it, uh, it needs to be done. Bubs, your line's kind of been killing it lately. Ryan, Elvin, just talk about the chemistry you guys have kind of built over the like, last couple weeks. Yeah, we find the chemistry and just uh, trying to open for these guys uh, in the right spot. They are obviously doing the old job, and I'm just, trying to be in the right stop, uh, right spot in the right moment. And all the time I score and just in that, in that dinner. They're pretty both skilled and uh, experienced players and it's pretty easy to play with them. <coughs> Lane, uh, Coach talked a lot about the culture of blocking shots. As a player, talk about that culture a little bit. Well, no, a, lot, a lot of block shots again tonight and then obviously the big one. Just talk about that culture and that mindset you guys have to have to block shots. Yeah, it's, it's definitely different here from, you know, teams I've been on in the past. Like, it's, it's the skill guys that are willing to do it, too. It's, you know, in the past uh, teams I've been on, it's, you know, the fourth line guys, everybody thinks it's just them. But here, it's, it's absolutely everybody, you know, and it's crazy to see. I mean, like I said before, it starts in practice. Like, we're out there diving around in practice, eating pucks, and we, we actually love it, to be honest. So. What can you expect from RIT on Saturday? You get a day off there in between. It's a little different. Uh, no, what do you from RIT? Yeah, so I just, my little promotion here for this, I think the Thursday, Saturday games are awesome. So I know the commission is leaving them, but the new commission, Thursday, Saturdays are great. So if we could play Thursday, Saturday, that'd be awesome. Appreciate Steve and the staff putting it on. But uh, it's really nice that way because to play back to back is actually really challenging uh, for the guys. So I think you'll see a very entertaining game on Saturday because both teams will get a chance to rest. Gloves, first RIT. <coughs> Uh, yeah, like we, you could feel the energy and the importance of the game. Obviously, thank you to the fans that came, that uh, we felt that energy. And obviously, we're expecting to see them on Saturday, the, on Saturday again. Any other questions? Do we ask his question? Um, when it comes to those moments where you go back into the locker room between periods and you have, obviously, uh, not the game you're, you know, planning on, you know on the scoreboard outside. Um, but in those moments, I'm guessing, like I saw as you coach, would you say there, are there any players you would say that like, 
really like step up and kind of like help each other, the team in general, kind of like refocus in those moments? Is there anyone particularly you would say? Yeah. Yeah, I think we have a really good uh, leadership group, and we haven't named captains or assistant captains, and that's because we have great faith in, in the leaders in the room, and, and we've got boat crew leaders. And uh, to your question, we showed an example of Mo Cheeks um, five years ago, I think it was, in the NBA playoffs when the young, young lady forgot the anthem and couldn't get it sung, right? And Mo Cheeks stepped up and helped her and then encouraged the crowd. And that's what I noticed about our group. We've got leaders and guys that are willing to do that type of thing, depending on the situation. And then we've got great followers who, who encourage that leader because it's brave and courageous to stand up in front like Mo Cheeks did in that situation. So I, I think we got a lot of courageous guys. I think we got a lot of great leaders. And then you got to be a great follower at the appropriate time, too.